Hello again my fellow pilots and aircraft maintenance personnel, your host is always Haysam Ali. I'm an aviation technical instructor. Today we are going to go for safety. First magazine by Airbus. This is the official website, safety first Airbus. And we'll go to a very important article regarding maintenance. It's for maintenance and operation. Uh, we are going to speak about thrust reverser deployment in flight. Thrust reverser deployment in flight. It is a very important article and it showcases a problem that do happen before, which is a thrust reverser deployment in flight. Uh, as you can see here, thrust reverser deployment in flight event have been reported to Airbus which have had both uh, maintenance and operational contribution. Uh, when you hear thrust reverser deployment in flight as aircraft fortunately landed safely because it is uh, got deployed by aerodynamic loads and this is for uh, bad maintenance and bad operational behavior. So this article by Airbus, this article describes a typical event and provides a reminder of the recommended actions for the flight crew when an alert related to thrust reversal is triggered at the gate or during taxi out. So for flight crew, what is uh, you need to take care after, uh, for example, thrust reversal deactivation? You need to take care about this message reverse unlocked if you got this message so that the reverse the thrust reverser is not correctly unlocked before flight this message reverse unlocked it is a no dispatch message and you need to take care for a normal flight or for a deactivated flight thrust reverser deactivate that this message is not on the e cam because the engine reverse unlocked a cam caution reappeared early in the climb okay in the event in the event so this is a no go message engine 2 reverse unlocked or engine 1 reverse unlocked so let's go for this uh, article again and it's it's specifically for the international aero engine v2500 engines and this is the event a thrust reverser unlocked event so uh, it was an a320 aircraft equipped with international aero engine v2500 was prepared for dispatch under mel with engine 2 re thrust reverser deactivated following a thrust reverser fault logged during the previous flight. So what is the uh, error? At the gate, prior to departure, the engine to reverse unlock the ECAM caution appear. This is a no-go message, no dispatch. This meant that the thrust reverser is not correctly logged. And the flight crew started the engine despite this alert and proceeded with the takeoff. So this is, was a very large mistake, very large mistake that the crew has this message, engine to reverse unlocked and they continue for the takeoff. You need to take care that the engine to reverse unlocked the ECAM caution reappeared early in the climb. Moments later, due to the aerodynamic load, as you can see here, the thrust reverser deployment with aerodynamic load, not with the hydraulic. I think if it is was the hydraulic, uh, it, it seems to be a disaster. But due to an aerodynamic load, so the thrust reverser deployed uh, step by step and fortunately the crew uh, uh, land again at the airport. So the translating sleeve started to move from its stowed position when the 
position of the sleeve exceeds the threshold of the fadic automatic idle function happen it's it's called auto idle automatic idle you need to know that uh, in this engine there is three safety feature when the thrust reverser advertently or inadvertently deployed in flight you have auto idle auto thrust disconnection and auto restore so in this case the automatic idle of the engine happen automatic idle function and this help very much the crew uh, in taking care about the scenario and the engine two thrust automatically reduced to idle and the flight crew felt the aircraft vibrating shut down engine two and then performed an in-flight turn back landing the aircraft safely so this was the scenario it was an A320 aircraft, A320 aircraft equipped with International Aero Engine V2500. Uh, as, a, as a pilot, you need to take care about this message, engine X reverse unlocked. This is a no-go message, a cam caution. So the key point from this scenario uh, when thrust reverser has been correctly deactivated by the maintenance you as a pilot need to take care that engine X reverse unlocked alert is not on the ECAM and this is for the uh, A320, A330, A380, A350 and for the A300 uh, you need to take care that the reverse unlocked the local warning is not appear on the Airbus A300 aircraft. Maintenance recommendation. As a maintenance personnel, uh, the main maintenance procedure for thrust reverser deactivation is three steps. As you can see here, three steps or three main maintenance procedure you need to take care for proper thrust reverser deactivation the first one is removing removing the hydraulic pressure or disconnecting electrical power from the actuator depending on engine model so this is the uh, hydraulic control unit step that you need to deactivate the hydraulic control unit hcu manually the second step is you need to take care about mechanically looking the thrust reverser by lookout bin installation mechanically looking the thrust reverser by lookout bin installation what is the mechanical looking is you need to like here for the v2500 you need to mechanically look the translating sleeve Mechanically looks at translating sleeves with the C duct itself. This is the lookout bin stowage, and this is the lookout bin assembly, lookout assembly location. So you need to make this. You need to mechanically connect the translating sleeve with the C duct by the lookout bin. And this is the proper lookout, mechanical lookout deactivation procedure. Okay, so this is the mechanical lookout. So even if hydraulic power is available, we are assured that the translating sleeve or the pivoting door is mechanically locked with the C duct. This is the second important step. Mechanically looking the thrust reverser by lookout bin installation. And the third step as that is clearly indicates that thrust reverser is deactivated by the engine reverse inhibition a cam caution or a warning placard. You as a maintenance staff need to tell the pilot that the engine is uh, engine thrust reverser is deactivated or engine reverse inhibition. On some engine, an ECAM message, an engine reverse inhibition, ECAM caution is coming when you do the proper thrust reverser deactivation. Or on the other engine that there is no ECAM caution, you need to put a warning placard to tell the pilot that the thrust reverser is properly deactivated. 
So this is the first uh, lecture or uh, a few minutes we discuss the important article regarding the thrust reversal deployment in flight uh, produced by Airbus on the safety first magazine by Airbus as a performance support tool. Uh, so in the next lecture, I will tell you more about the proper procedure for thrust reversal deactivation, especially for the mechanical looking. This is the proper mechanical looking. But some me uh, maintenance mechanics and engineers do a mistake like that. They are not properly connect the C ducts with the translating sleeve by many errors. This is a one error and this is another error. Okay, and this is a third error. So please stay tuned for the upcoming session to discuss the proper mechanical deactivation of the thrust reverser. Thank you for your good listening and always fly safely and maintain your aircraft very safely. Bye-bye.